October 27th. I'm headed into work. Uh, I'm hoping my boss is there today because I really need to talk to him about my schedule. If I have to drop down to part time for a little bit, I will. Maybe after the holidays, but. Um, yeah. <laughs> unless, he, unless he can start giving me two days off in a row. I mean, that would be great, but. I, it, that probably is not going to happen. Um, but, I mean, it's not that I mind working. It's just being on my feet for eight hours a day is what is killing me. I say that, but I was on my feet a lot yesterday. <laughs> I canned 12 quarts of pumpkin, which took me all day to do. You know, canning pumpkin, it's cool to have, but it's, it's very time-consuming. And it's really the prep work that is the time consuming. Anyway, let me tell you, I got on the scale this morning. As you know, I try to weigh myself every day. Uh, it was down a pound from yesterday. It was 198, which means I am uh, at 79.8 pounds total loss as of today. And, um, I have lost like 45.8 pounds from a year ago today so from October 27th 2018 to now it's you know almost 46 pounds so I feel pretty good about that I mean I, I probably I could have had a better October if I hadn't gone out to eat so much you know but you know coulda woulda shoulda October is about over with. November starts a new month. And I remember last year I had a really good November. I mean, I lost like 12 pounds last November. So I'm going to shoot for that. Maybe not 12 pounds, but at least shoot for having a good weight loss in November to kind of give me a jump start into the holiday season. Um, of course, my holiday season has already started. I have a tree up already. <laughs> So, uh, I recorded my breakfast. Oh, I should probably do this now. While I'm on my way to work, I'm having my morning snack. i got to open this up. Which is one cheese stick. I had uh, six points for breakfast. So, I have a cup of grapes with me and a cheese stick. I'm going to eat on the way to work. My first break will be at three. At which time I'm going to have a turkey wrap which is one, two, three, four points. I've already tracked everything for the day. Um, I only get that 15 minute break, so that's enough to eat that wrap. My dinner break comes about five. And I brought some chicken soup. I made it last night in the crock pot. It smells really good. So, and then I just brought some veggies to eat along with it. It's a uh, zero point soup. I used uh, the zero point broth. I mean, I brought two cups with me. Three cups would have been a point. But the two cups is zero. Um, so that, so really zero point dinner. And then for my late last break, I brought a cheese stick and seven almonds. And that's two points. It takes me to a grand total so far of 13 points for the day. Which is okay. That just kind of gives me a leeway. If there's something in the break room I want, I can have it. It gives me 10 points to play with. So, I have to remember to pick up some kitty litter. I leave tonight. I probably need to pick up a small bag of cat food and dog food. So, like I said, everything is tracked for the day. 
um, had everything planned out. I planned it out last night. I don't know if I'll do that again tonight for tomorrow. Because I tell you, when I get home after 10 o'clock at night, I'm really tired. Got the dog out, but I did not walk around the pond with her because it was so windy and wet. It's not raining anymore, but the ground is really wet. The wind is chilly. It's 53 degrees, so it's not horrible. I don't know if you can see my necklace, but I put on my Weight Watcher charms on this necklace. I'm kind of hoping, since the weather's crummy, you know, the store's not quite so busy today. Not that I mind it being busy. I just, you know, I'm still kind of tired. And I just don't feel like dealing with people today. <laughs> that whole day, yesterday, my, I got up, went to the farmer's market, came home and started in the, those pumpkins. The difference about being on my feet canning being at the store is that when I'm home you know I can go sit down and take a break or I can sit on a chair and watch my canner you know I don't have to be on my feet constantly and I can go to the bathroom more often so which is beginning to get to be a problem at work Because when I have to go, I gotta go. Because you know, there's a saying, time waits for no one. Well, P waits for no one. <laughs> so this is a week I'm not really looking forward to. I mean, I am and I'm not. Uh, Thursday is Joe's birthday. Just, I've, I've really, really been missing him lately. I think it's with the holidays coming and everything and all the special events in the family with the birthdays and everything. I'm just really missing him. And then the anniversary of his death is November 3rd. I have to work that day. I have to work 11 to 8. I'm going to try to get to the cemetery before I go into work. I, I don't know if I will. It's just, I don't know. I should be used to him being gone by now. And, you know, it's like some days I am and some days I'm not. You know, I've been reading stuff about, in my grief counselor told me the same thing. Grief comes in waves. And there's no time limit on it. Sometimes it just hits you out of the blue. And that's what's been happening to me. You know, I'll go past something that we did together. Or go by a restaurant that we liked, you know. Or just sit at home, you know. I hear a song or something that reminds me of him. I just break down. Now, that being said. I am 100 times better than what I was a year ago at this time. I'm at least able to function during the day. I want to tell you, a year ago, I couldn't. A year ago, it was all I could do to get out of bed. So, I am making progress, but, you know, it's a hole in my heart that will never, ever heal. both him and my son. Boy, this wind is really something here today. So I was 
able to see my pay stub that I'm going to get paid on Thursday. I was hoping for a little bit more, but I mean, it is what it is. The, the gross was there that I was expecting. It just, it, it just take out so many dang taxes. So, but I did figure out based on that pay stub when and how much I'm going to be able to pay to start getting those headstones made, which is the reason I went back to work. And if I can do it the way I want to do it, I should be able to have them bought in about eight months. They're going to let me make payments. And then I'll decide on whether or not I'm going to keep working. Hopefully that church job will come up in a couple weeks and I'll be able to do that. So, anyway, I cooked that chicken soup pretty much all night long. I just put it on warm in the crock pot. And when I got up to go to the bathroom about 4 o'clock this morning, I turned it off. I started it maybe about 10.30 last night. All it was was I had a couple of chicken breast left over from when I canned all that chicken. That wasn't enough to get into a jar. And I threw that in there. And anytime I cut up vegetables, you know, onions, garlic, celery, anything, I throw it in a plastic bag and stick it in the freezer. And when the bag's full, I make soup. The carrots were in there. You know, carrot tops. So, was that and uh, I put two containers of fat-free, low-sodium chicken broth to cover it. And that was it. Oh, I did throw some bay leaves in there and some peppercorns. I was about, and that was, and that was it. I don't think I even put any salt in it. So it smells amazing. And. I think about, you know, 5 o'clock, a nice hot soup. It's just what I need to get me through the rest of the night. But it's easy. So this morning I, I stuck the, you know, the, the crock pot bowl. I stuck that in the refrigerator and I'll uh, be eating that this week. Now, when I put it in my container, I strained it, so I didn't, you know, I don't didn't bring any of the vegetable scraps. And I did throw some baby carrots in there, there too last night, so I guess I do have some carrots in the soup. There's nothing like chicken soup on a cold day. Low calories. Actually, I got to park back here tonight. Low calories. Good nutrition. Easy to do. My type of meal. And since it's zero points, you know, if I wanted to, I could add something to it. We'll see. I want to tell you that hour goes by fast. That hour meal time that I have. It goes by fast. Now I'm going to get blown away by the wind. Alright, I got 20 minutes. If 
before I have to clock in. Oh, give me time to get in there and figure out what's what today. I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope people are nicer to you today than they're going to be to me. <laughs> if anything changes about what I eat, I'll at least tell you about it. I'll be back to wrap things up at the end of the day. You guys have a great Sunday. On Sunday morning, a very cold and blustery morning, I have decided to have a bowl of oatmeal before I head into work. This is four points. Um, 40 grams of dry oatmeal with um, a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk, some blueberries, and uh, 30 milliliters or about an eighth of a cup of sugar-free maple syrup. So my oatmeal is only four points. I have two points in my coffee, six points for breakfast. <laughs>